Hey everybody, it's Nancy from Jersey Shore Worship. I hope you are having a wonderful evening. Listen, I'm outside enjoying nature, just enjoying this beautiful weather that we are having. And you know, I'm back with another partner spotlight. I am enjoying these. They've been absolutely wonderful. Now this, this one is really special because man, we just love him. He's, he's a part of our small group in Jersey Shore Worship and their family is just absolutely incredibly talented and anointed. He is, I believe, the little brother to uh, Pastor Lu. Yeah, you're the little brother, Luis Gonzalez. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Pastor Melvin Gonzalez. He is the pastor of Menentileo de Vida, which stands for Spring of Life, West Long Branch. Come on and let's welcome him. Hey, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you. How are you guys? God bless you, Sister Nancy. Wow. Well, thank you so much for being a partner. You know, I often think about when you joined Jersey Shore Worship, you came at the last rehearsal and yes. you learned all the songs. You were just like, I just want to be in the midst. I want to be a part of what God is doing in the region. Yes. And you've been a part of us ever since. And we're going on five years now. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. And let me tell you, it was uh, my sister who you will know. She said, Melvin, uh, there's a sister in, uh, in down south in Jersey Shore in the area. And I want you to connect. And uh, I want you to go over there and help them out. I was like, sure, let's go over there. <laughs> And here we are. Five years later, we're still together. Oh, my goodness. We're still together. You brought the family. We love yes. your wife. You guys have been yeah. involved in the prayer team. Yes. And we've, you, we've just been so blessed by having you. So thank you for being a part of Jersey Shore Worship. Absolutely. So, we are so proud of you, Pastor, you and your wife for beginning your ministry in Long Branch. You stepped out in faith. Yes. Um, I know you come from a line of pastors, your father, your brother, and your sister yes. is now in ministry. Ministers. Life. You come from a family full yes. of preachers. Um, so tell us, how did you um, get into ministry? When did you know the call of God on your life? So I, uh, I'm number seven out of 11. Wow. And yes, so <laughs> there, there is plenty of us to go around. And some are ministry, the, uh, there is some in ministry, uh, mm -hmm. full ministry, such as pastors, uh, ministers, uh, musicians. There are some who is helping within the ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are all involved in ministry. So being that I was in the background of ministry, mm -hmm. I try to avoid it at one point <laughs> i said okay ministry is here let me be here and and god said hey i have called you to be in this place and uh, yeah. so it happens my mother-in-law was the one who started oh. in west long branch okay. and uh, by the passing of her husband uh mm -hmm. she she needed that break and that time and and uh, god called her to be in north carolina mm -hmm. and it so happened that we were helping her out at that moment for two yeah three years wow and then after that the lord brought that that burning mm. uh feeling in my heart for the souls and like oh my god but who's going to be there mm. and 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 who's going to help the rest of the people who are who are still congregating and and, and need that help so wow. um my wife and i said mm. this is it Wow. Listen, we cannot wrong any I cannot wrong any longer. I gotta step up. So that was when. And it was within about three, four years ago. It was just that burning sensation for the souls and for the people in church to help them out, uh, help them up and grow. Wow. Wow, that is that's awesome. What an awesome story. You know, um, lots of times when you're a PK, you know, of course yeah. people think you automatically you know, pop into ministry, but it yeah. really is a process, how God grooms you, how he yes. trains you, how he raises you up. Well, I'm so glad you guys said yes. I am yes. so glad you said yes, man. So tell us about Menentiel de Vida, which stands for <laughs> Spring of Life, West Long Branch. Tell us about your ministry and the bent of your ministry. So right now, um, our Spring of Life, Manantial de Vida in West Long Branch, we are a bilingual church. And uh, so the same way that we, we sing, uh, No soy esclavo del temor, I am... Uh, <laughs> And we and we translate everything from the scriptures to the song, and and because we found that there's a, a need in this area for both languages, and sometimes what happened is we 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 especially my kids, mm -hmm. uh, even though we're Spanish, 
Mm-hmm. They grew they grew up here learning English, and therefore, um, majority of the stuff that even though we are trying to talk to them in English, mm-hmm. uh, they're being left behind, and we saw that we needed to fill that, that void, wow. because even though we grew up in Spanish culture, wow. and me personally grew up in Puerto Rico, and so I'm fully bilingual, mm-hmm. um, but they were not. And they're used to this Americanized, uh, the worship, uh, the reading, the scripture, and all, and going to school. Mm-hmm. Therefore, we needed to do the same thing in the church. Okay. So the church has been fully bilingual. Wow. If there's nobody that needs the translation, mm-hmm. uh, we stay in one language. Okay. <laughs> but there's Sundays that we may actually double it up just okay. because of those people. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. Oh, that's beautiful. That's mm-hmm. beautiful. And you know, that's so needed. Um, yes. I love God because he called every tribe, mm-hmm. every nation, and every tongue mm-hmm. to worship him. And it's so beautiful, the fact that you can speak two languages. Um, that is just so incredible. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. Listen, I had Spanish uh, three years, I think, in high school. And all I know is arroz con pollo, okay? <laughs> Still a promise. It's still a promise. I know it's a rose compo. So listen, Pastor, how many years have you been pastoring now? We have been actually pastoring for two years now. Back in June third was going to be our second year and because we have been in quarantine. Okay. Let me be truthful to you guys. I forgot all about it. Oh, wow. Yeah. I <laughs> We were so involved in keeping up with everything else Mm -hmm. that we have even forgot to celebrate our two years of anniversary. And it was just the worry of how how the people uh, losing their jobs, needing needing help, and and so many other things that Mm -hmm. that didn't even cross our mind. But luckily for us, we've been with a beautiful congregation helping us along the way for two years now. Oh, that is beautiful. Yes. That is awesome. That's that's yeah. absolutely wonderful. So how has pastoring been for you? I know you're new at it, but you've seen your father pastor and yes. um, your brother. How is this experience for you? <clears throat> for me, it has been great awesome. because there has been people who have made it easy for us. Oh. And it's so, it's so unreal when you, when you say that as a pastor, because there's some people in churches that make it a little bit harder for the pastors to help them out. Right. But the people that has stayed with us has helped us along the way, say, pastor, in whatever you need, mm-hmm. uh, we're here for you. Even our bishop, my, my, own pa- uh, my own father, he said, whenever you need help, my own brother, whenever you need help, let us know. We'll send somebody to help you over there in a Sunday. Because mm-hmm. Sunday after Sunday, especially when you're beginning, mm-hmm. you're struggling and thinking, what am I going to bring to people this, this Sunday? And, and what am I going to say? I think I covered everything last Sunday. Repent <laughs> and come to Jesus. <laughs> I think I got that. Isn't that the whole thing? <laughs> Just, <laughs> so uh, from time to time, they give me a hand and I, I truly appreciate it wow. because it is new to us uh, for my wife and for myself. So um, it has been a learning experience. <laughs> one and since we have started with a small group it has made it a little bit easier i know pastors have a few hundred uh, people in their congregation we we have luckily for us we have a beautiful congregation that is growing uh, slowly but surely and that has made it easier for us to manage it wow that's awesome that's great it's wonderful to hear uh, when a pastor shares that you know the best thing about pastoring is loving on the people yes i came to your church for your first year anniversary to help celebrate and you could feel the love but let me tell you guys the power of god amen first of all you know you're like um you're like our israel houghton um (laughs) you you just for your voice is incredible you're so glory to god tell you something you are so anointed pastor melvin just so anointed your heart it it, it precedes you it really does your heart for god so if you are watching and you are just logging on right now i am talking to pastor melvin gonzalez he is the pastor of menantial de vida which stands for spring of life they are located at 992 broadway in west long branch you can connect with them on their facebook page which is mdb west long branch that's m D.V. West Long Branch. And listen, they're having services right now 
on, on Sundays at 1 p.m. in person. So you can go and join them. You hear his heart. He loves people. It's yes. a bilingual service. So if you are bilingual, listen, yes. this is the place for you. Come. They also have service, a Bible study on uh, Thursdays, and Monday is uh, prayer at 7 o'clock. So Amen. Monday at 7 o'clock and Thursdays at 7 is Bible study. So listen, Amen. join in. So let me, let's find a little bit more. Pastor, uh, <clears throat> what are some of the highlights of your ministry? I know you guys have just started, but you know what I love about God? He tells us in his word not to despise small beginnings. Yes. It's not about the, the, the quantity, <laughs> but it's about the quality of ministry. Tell us some of the highlights of thus far of your ministry. Right now, I mean, we like you said, even the little things we celebrated, and for so long, uh, we were singing mm -hmm. uh, with tracks in the church, and that was our only way to worship God. We didn't have no musicians, so we didn't have no volunteers, and so for a, for a long time, we we were struggling with that. We would love to continue the song, and we used to just drag the slide back to see if we could repeat the same and hopefully land in a, in a pattern and 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 we just continue worshiping god and one sunday i would say about uh six months after we started a uh, young man who who happens to be uh you know multi musicians who plays the bass drums keyboard guitar and all that stuff the mm -hmm. one man band kind of thing wow. and he started he started worshiping with us and um that's sun that first sunday i, I would just say, say thank you god Thank wow. you because you listen to our prayers. Oh, wow. And then after that, people got so excited. And then my son, Adrian, mm -hmm. he's uh, he started playing. He's 13 right now. He's playing the bass. And he started playing. And, and me singing along with my son. Oh, wow. oh, <laughs> Come on now. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that was so amazing. I, I was just looking at him. I was singing. I was just looking. He's so cute, Calido. <laughs> so I couldn't awesome. hold it. And wow. but those are the little things. But I, I, I rejoice because I know what the Lord is, is pro has promised for, for West Long Branch. He's yeah. going to fulfill. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, most definitely. And what I love about it is that you guys are remaining faithful. And yes. that is the key to growth is, yes. is consistency is the continuing to go, continuing to, you know, press forward, continuing to love on God's people. And I Absolutely. love that. And let me give a shout out to Adrian. Adrian, yes. shout yes. out to you, my man. <laughs> Awesome. Yes. It's awesome to have a family that is worshiping God together. That is Amen. so beautiful. So if you're watching, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am talking to Pastor Melvin Gonzalez. He is the pastor of Menentiel de Vida. That stands for Spring of Life. And they are located at 992 Broadway in West Long Branch. Services on Sundays at one o'clock. Listen, when I tell you he is a worshiper, um, just if, if you're ready to enter the presence of the Lord, and I mean indulge, and that's what I love about, um, you know, not taking away from smaller congregations, but there's something about spending time in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Because you're a worshiper. What is it that you love about spending time in the presence of the Lord? I am a very re reserved kind of guy in my privacy when I'm my, by myself in my house. Mm -hmm. And when I go to the altar, I just give it all and I express my all to him. I hold nothing mm -hmm. because I am in his presence. And, mm -hmm. and that's what brings me to, to, to him, closer to him. Here at home mm -hmm. in the church, because we don't only worship in church, we worship everywhere we go. <laughs> And, and, and that's what brings me. But the thing is, he also prepares me uh -huh. through, through the music. <laughs> there, was, there was a song that I, I, I just kept singing. And I, just a little, I'm going to testify just a little bit. Just that one song that was just ministering to me. Uh -huh. And for the longest, is Tu cuerdas de amor cayeron sobre mí. It was just, your strings of love fell over me. Ooh. Es tu amor que me sostiene, el que me levanta. It is your love that sustains me, that lifts me up. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. When I was in the hospital for COVID, 
that was that that was the song that came to my head and there was a lady in my church who said before they are we talking about back in december she said I, w- I saw you and a dark shadow was surrounding you, but you were singing this song that was helping you through this situation. And I was like, oh my God, thank you, Lord. And I was able to understand Psalms 23. Aunque ande en valle de sombra de muerte, no temeré mar alguno, porque tú estarás conmigo. Even though I may walk through valley shadow of death, you will be with me. And I felt that peace, and that song just helped me through those moments. It's just like the Psalms. A song will get you through that difficult time, through those difficult moments yeah. in life. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about that experience and just you holding on to God. The moment when you first knew that you had it, what went through your mind, and how was your faith <clears throat> tested? Wow. I mean... When when I when I went to uh, I did this virtual chat with the doctor, mm-hmm. she said uh, I think you may have COVID, yeah. and I was like oh, okay thanks, <laughs> 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 I couldn't breathe I couldn't talk, so oh. she said go to the hospital go to the emergency room and get yourself tested. Wow. They did the X-rays they did everything, mm-hmm. and I put in my head I think I'm going to spend a few days in here okay. so I took my phone and I took my headphones and I was in complete peace wow really I, just, I was I was I was walking through the valleys through the hallways through the through the way to for my MRI through the CAT scan I was walking and I was in peace wow because I knew whatever the outcome might have been whether it was to stay here to give you this testimony or to meet with him and be with him I knew I was going to be okay. Wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. Wow. It, it was it was that peace that surpasses all yeah. understanding. Yeah. And wow. the, I was able to see it on my wife when she went through the heart heart attack mm-hmm. and through her process I, mm-hmm. I I was able to see that same peace and I was able to feel mm-hmm. that same peace wow. that God provided to her in the midst of mm-hmm. the storm in wow. the midst of the whole Oh, uncertainty. Are you going to be okay or not? Why? Because I was, uh, I, I'm very uh, lovable in size. And that was a worry for the doctors. I had asthma. That was a worry for the doctors. Um, uh, any steps, that any try, any words that I, that I tried to, to take out out of my mouth mm-hmm. will leave me out of breath. So I couldn't even speak. Wow. So they were worried for me. My family started calling, friends started calling very worried because what are the news of how they portrayed uh, any, just because you go in, you may not come out. And some people have gone through this and, and, and I feel for those who have gone through this, I'm still going through it. And uh, just one word for you, just keep on holding on to the word of God. Yes. It will give you comfort and it will give you strength to go through the, through these valleys through the storm, he will get you through it. He will, he will. Yes. Wow, that's a powerful testimony, and we were praying for you, Pastor. Uh, oh, thank you. Heard and found out. Uh, we put it off, you know, out to the team, and we didn't let up until we heard about your progress. And we're so grateful yes. for the grace of God, for the Amen. power of God Amen. that raised you up and brought you back home to your family, to your, your wife and your children. We're so grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching, we are talking to Pastor Melvin Gonzalez. He is the pastor of an NPL. De Vida, that stands for Spring of Life, located at 992 Broadway in West Long Branch. What a powerful family. What a powerful testimony he just gave us. Listen, their services are on Sundays at 1 o'clock, and, um, uh, and they also have two other services midweek. Monday is prayer at 7 p.m., and Thursday is Bible study at 7 p.m. So please connect with this church. They are on uh, Facebook. You can connect with him on their Facebook page, which is MDB West Long Branch. That's MDB West Long Branch. So pastor, what are your goals for the future for your church? What vision has God showed you for where your church is going? Right now in the midst of all these pandemic and, um, we are giving tools to the congregation in our Bible studies, giving, um, methods and ways to do evangelism 
Mm-hmm. Preparing the church to evangelize because sometimes we're stuck with our family for a long periods of time and yet we don't speak about God. Wow. Okay. And we are amongst co-workers. Maybe uh, we have to go to work and we find ourselves in the midst, in the midst of co-workers worried about this pandemic, worried about this whole uncertainty. Mm-hmm. And we have a solution. We have the good news of God and we are bearers of those good news so we should be giving those good news to those who are lost right now who are are so worried and full of anxiety so we have those good news to give out to the to to the world who are who is in need right now so that's what we're doing we are preparing them giving the tools we are actually going every saturday last saturday was our first one this saturday we will continue to go on the streets in long branch and preaching the gospel of jesus christ going through the streets handling tracks saying Jesus loves you and not only that showing them how God loves them mm-hmm. you know and it, and it just it's, that's what people need right now that the voice of hope that you're not alone you're not going through this alone there's people around here that loves you even though they don't even know you wow. that's Amen. Awesome. That's what, and that's what Christ told us to do to mm-hmm. make disciples and it's so important that we disciple people you yes. know teach them to go out and make more disciples Amen. that's what Jesus instructed us to do so ah that is so awesome um, yes. our street ministry we love evangelism and that's what the world is called to do is to come outside yeah. of the four walls that's and it out there and and you know I know we have we're practicing social distancing or physical mm-hmm. distancing whatever you want to call it but still that that should not stop us from that's right. the love of Jesus Christ and that is so absolutely you are doing. that's awesome that's great so if you want to be a part of a ministry that is doing the work of Christ mm-hmm. come on they are fulfilling the great commission that's Amen. what we're called to do then you need to connect with this ministry located in West Long Branch this is Pastor Melvin Gonzalez of Menantiel de Vida, which is located at 992 Broadway in Long Branch. They love people. They yes. love the word. And listen, they're equipping people mm-hmm. to be able to make other disciples. Uh, right. Isn't that good? They're spreading awesome. the good news and teaching people how to be disciples. That's awesome. That's wonderful. And, and, and it's so beautiful because from this, from this past two weeks, already seven people has given their life to Christ. Woo! I mean, that's a big accomplishment just to take one soul from the devil, from the grass of the devil. That is a celebration on its own. But right for people calling us in the middle of the night saying we need prayer. We had to go through a beauty salon to pray for the for for every single one of them in there. Five of those gave to the life to Christ right there and then. And it, it the, the people are crying out. Wow. wow. Sometimes you don't even need to go out there. They're just looking for somebody. Yes. And God could place you right there in that spot. Don't miss the opportunity Absolutely. that God has put you in your life. So if somebody calls you and tells you, start telling you for randomly telling, oh my God, this is so difficult. This is the moment that God has put in your life to give them word of hope, wow. encouragement. You could do this. You could go through this. Do not worry. I'm here for you. Not be only hearers of the word, doers of the words. We got to do the word of God. Be out there for the community and for those people who need us right now more than any, any other time. Oh, yeah. I think this is a great time for the church. Pastor Melvin, you're on Amen. fire tonight. I think this is the perfect time. We've got to seize those moments. Like you said, yes. it, even if it's our family members, sometimes we don't yes. even connect to our own family members. People are crying out. And this is what we need to realize is sometimes people don't know that they need God. They don't, yes. they don't know what they're even looking for right now. They're looking for answers and they don't even know. Jesus is the answer. Oh, wow, man, I'm on fire right now. I, I'm with you, Pastor. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Man, so listen, if you are on fire for the Lord and you want to see souls come to Christ and you're in the Long Branch, Neptune, Asbury, all along the shore and you're in this region, get to Menantial de Vida, which stands for Spring of Life. It's all in the name, man. (laughs) <laughs> you, yes. you get the life that we have in Jesus 
Christ. Um, what a beautiful, beautiful ministry. Pastor, we are so proud of you. We're Thank just you. so proud of you. Can you speak to, just for a moment, you are a part of Jersey Shore Worship. You're part of the yes. 100 Voice Choir. How do you feel that the church is being impacted right now with all that's going on around us? How do you feel that affects us uh, in coming together and unifying? More than any other time, we need to stay together because many people who were only churchgoers have stepped away, mm. have stopped even connecting, wow. have stopped even uh, encouraging one another. So we need the body of Christ to say, don't give up. Ah. <laughs> don't give up. Yes. Because those they they were just there because they felt that God was there just for for being comfortable, but not for the necessity that He is your Savior, and this mentality uh, of 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 God being just there for comfort and not for your life, mm. and that's what people have drifted away because they feel that they're uncomfortable wearing Jesus all the time, mm. wow. and now because everybody's mocking them, how God can allow this pandemic to go through and now they being they feel like fools wow. because they have they trust in a god that many people say mm -hmm. if you go to him everything's going to be okay so those wow. ministers right now need those help i encourage all the ministers to stay strong yes this is the time to stay together encourage one another i'm so happy that i'm in the town of red bank and i was help able to go to celebrate mm -hmm. our friends over here in, in baptist uh, calvary baptist church mm -hmm. over here in red bank and it was a pleasure why because it is beautiful to see another person other than the members of your church say hey keep going yes not yes. give up yes. do not give up stick going because of many of those people who were just going there just to feel good mm -hmm. have left wow come on come on it's really the time now to lock in yes. to make it count get yes. serious about your relationship with jesus christ right. this time is mm -hmm. now don't wait don't give up but listen don't don't play with it either Mm -hmm. Don't play with it because the time is near. Christ is soon to come. Christ is Absolutely. soon to come. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have enjoyed this conversation. I could talk to my brother all <laughs> night, all night because he's funny. He's powerful, anointed, um, and just rich with, with the word of God. So we just love you, Pastor Melvin. Thank you. Yeah, we love you guys life. too. Your family, Adrian, your baby girl. Um, we just Abigail. love you. Abigail. Abigail. <laughs> she's not little anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, she's growing. We just love you. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we thank God for Pastor Melvin Gonzalez of Menentiel de Vida, Spring of Life, which is located at 992 Broadway in West Long Branch. Listen, you can connect with them Sundays. You can go to their services at one o'clock, right there at 992 Broadway in West Long Branch. And during the week, they have two services that are virtual, okay? The Monday is prayer, and Thursday night is Bible study, and those services are at 7 p.m. Hey, he's on Facebook. Go to his Facebook page. Connect with him there at MDV West Long Branch. That's MDV West Long long branch i'm telling you the entire family i told your brother it's something in the water it's something <laughs> you're drinking over there in the water <laughs> that is just so powerful you guys are loving and what a lineage what a great legacy of god in amen. your family, man. I love you guys. Amen. So listen, if you watch this and your church is not a partner, we right now have 78 churches that have partnered with God's vision, Jersey Shore Worship. It's his vision. It's not amen. ours. We're just carrying it out. We're just doing it. We're being intentional about amen. coming together as his church, his bride, the kingdom of God. You can join in it with us and you can go to our website at jswthenumber1.org or you can email us at admin at jsw1.org. Listen, come on. There's no strings attached. We just want to come together and we want to resemble what heaven is going to be like. And that's, that's it. Every kindred, every tribe, every nation, and every tongue. Pastor, before you go, can you just speak to our Latino brothers and sisters? Um, can you give them a word of hope in Spanish, please? 
a todos los hermanos y amigos que nos están escuchando. Estos tiempos son difíciles, estos tiempos nos están eh, luchando y tratándonos a cada uno de nosotros mental y espiritualmente. Pero yo te digo, no te rindas, no desmayes, sigue hacia adelante porque Dios está contigo como poderoso gigante y Él estará contigo hasta el fin del mundo, no importando la circunstancia, no importando el dolor, no importando la prueba, Él estará contigo, no te desmayes, no desmayes. Aquí hay una comunidad para ayudarte, dispuesto a levantarte, dispuesto a traerte ánimo en estos tiempos tan difíciles. Yo he pasado por prueba, pero eso no quiere decir que yo no he estado solo. Él ha estado conmigo, Él ha estado conmigo, así Él lo puede estar contigo. No es para quizás a, eh, sentirte cómodo, sino para aliviar tus cargas y dejarte saber que Él, él te entrega la, la paz que el mundo no te puede dar. Dios te bendiga, Dios te guarde. Tu pastor y amigo, Melvin González. Wow. I, I, I think I felt everything said. I, I, I figured it out. I figured, don't give up. Give Jesus your life. He loves you. Don't stop now. It's not over for you. Hang in there. God's got you. He yes. wants a relationship with you. He desires a closer walk with you. He's never going to leave you, never going to forsake you. Was that? Was that? That was, was that Nancy, Nancy Jackson version one. Come on now. That. <laughs> Forget about King James, Nancy version one. Come on. <laughs> well, thank you, Pastor. We love you. Thank you for being a part you. of this. And God bless you. And to all of our partners out there, we love you all. Stay tuned, everybody. We've got another partner spotlight coming. So keep it locked in right here. God bless you guys. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>